Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Teams and the new presenter mode feature that's now available. I was going to also give a few tips on when it comes to sharing your screen and, and things to be aware of. So I'm using Microsoft Office 365 Teams app on my Mac. So if you use it on a PC, you may find it slightly different. So I'm going to do first off just to show you these, I'm going to set up a meeting. So there's a variety of ways that you can set up a meeting and you can obviously click add new meeting and schedule one in advance or you can do the meet now feature. I find the meet now feature is really useful if you want to have a meeting with someone um, because it gives you all of the features of a meeting which you don't necessarily get if you just call them via the chat feature. So yeah, go into meet now, put in the title of your meeting and you can get a link to share. We can drop it in the chat with them or email them. So I can do start meeting. It'll bring up the window. I'm going to leave my camera off initially and I can join that meeting. Having joined the meeting, I can copy a link again or I could just go into participants and add their email addresses and invite them to the meeting. So that's how you can um, create a short meeting, have all of the features of meetings just by doing the meet now feature. So let's start by going through and just highlighting some of the the options available when it comes to sharing content. So let's, to share content, we click on the share content arrow, or you can do on a Mac, it's command shift E, on a PC, it's control shift E. So if we click on the up arrow, we've got the option to share a window and we can choose which of the active windows we wish to share. Or if we want to use PowerPoint Live, we can share a specific PowerPoint. So let's go with PowerPoint Live to start with. So the advantages of PowerPoint Live are that you can still see the chat, you can still see um, who all of the participants and you can see if anyone puts their hand up. So um, other advantages to PowerPoint Live is you've got various tools to assist you in presenting from a, a cursor, which means uh, colleagues can see exactly where you're looking at on the slide. My favorite is probably the laser pointer, which allows you just to circle elements for those that you're presenting to. Down the bottom, if you click on the three dots, you can hide presenter view, and that's useful if you've got detail on your slides which you want to refer to, or you're presenting on a small screen and you want to be able to see what's on each slide, because uh, that maximizes the slides so you can see them more clearly. So we'll go back to show presenter view. And the other option you've got is you've got a grid view where you can see all of your slides so you know what's happening uh, ahead of the slides being there. One thing to be aware of when you are presenting, I'll just turn off my laser pointer, is if you don't want the, the participants to jump ahead, then you just need to close the eye so they can't jump ahead. And if you're doing uh, questions and your answers are on preceding slides, I've been in sessions where the presenter hasn't done that and I've been able to jump ahead, look at the answers and then cheat. So it's always useful just to prevent your audience from looking ahead if you don't want them to see the presentation, you want them to work through it with you. So one of the new features that's recently been introduced is the presenter mode. So obviously you need to have your camera on for that. So if I just turn on my camera, I've now got presenter mode and there's two choices, presenter mode, which is familiar, um, where it's just content only, or I can appear within the frame. So this is quite nice. Um, it's also quite nice if you want to record content um, and appear in the bottom of it. The only disadvantage is potentially you are obstructing content, but you could move around the frame if you wanted to show something that was just there. So that's quite a nice way of doing it. And that's how you can use the presenter mode within PowerPoint Live. If we stop that from presenting, just to show you how else you can share your screen. So back to the share tray, you will see that you can also use the share window or screen feature and use presenter mode there. So far, the best way I found to do it is to select which presenter mode you want and then select the thing that you want to share. So if we select uh, stand out and then I choose the th of the windows I want to appear and then the control appears briefly at the top that enables you to swap between the different modes. So I like to pin that so I can find it if I wish to change where I'm appearing. So what I can do now, there's my preview. That's what um, others are going to see. 
But what I need to do is just minimize teams so I can see the content that I want to be looking at and I can navigate through that content and go on to that content um, and talk through what I want to talk about appearing in the shot. Um, because I've pinned it at the top, the controls, I can also change my presenter mode view. So if I decide actually I'm obstructing too much of the content, I can click on the top and have a different view where I'm alongside my content or I can have it where I'm cut out and beside. I have to confess, I prefer probably the first and second option, either being right in front of it or being beside it. I find those the most effective uh, and you can obviously refer to it without obstructing it. So that's how you can use the presenter mode when you're sharing a window. And just as before, you can stop presenting and it returns to you there. So there you have it, uh, a quick video on how to use the presenter mode Hope you found that video useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.